As soon as your energy sat in front of me, I feel like I'm sitting in front of a best friend. It's dope. It's cool energy. It's real. It's grateful. And it's deeply understanding that for the light to transpire, you have to be ready and aware of embracing the dark. You understand that manifestation, when you feel low vibrations, it does not mean you're fucking up. It does not mean you have stopped manifesting. Manifestation, a lot of people think, is high-low. You're either high you're manifesting or you're low and you're getting stuck in a cycle repeat. It's not that simple. Low vibrations are just as important as high vibrations. You see, manifestation's a circle, not a vertical line, not a horizontal line. It's a circle. At the top is when your your high vibrations, that's your manifesting energy. That's where creativity and you have the endurance and strength and 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 just tenacity to continue to go forward and see it already here. Low vibrations are restoring energy. When you're in low vibrations, it's stating. It's a time to reflect, to see what parts of your shadow work have been activated and how to proceed forward. It also happens a lot if people are burning themselves out in work and etc. You go into low vibrations to regenerate. A lot of people are very grateful to have you in their life because you're somebody that can do all with them. It's not just you're there when you need each other. You're also there for the celebrations, for the happiness. You're a very powerful friend to have. And people don't take your kindness as weakness at all. Before we start today, I have a beautiful gift for one of my amazing followers, Margot. She has her own candle company and she sent me what, she sent me the five cents. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys you guys know how much I love a good candle. You know. She sent me gingerbread icing. I smell all of them, they're phenomenal. Chocolate marshmallow rum, spicy. Toasty Marshmallow Caramel Sparkling Pomegranate Mojito And lastly, but definitely not leastly The Strawberry Frosted Sugar Cookie This is the one we're using right now I'm excited to use all of these Every single time you see me use a candle A pen The cards Everything has a specific meaning Nothing is just There the reason we're using the strawberry frosted cookie today, and thank you, my friend, these are dope. I'm going to go ahead and and on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and attach her website and etc. in the in the bio. And yeah, thank you so much. These are beautiful. The reason we've picked this one, my friends, is because there is this this energy of having your cake and eating it too. I see. You have a love partner that it's like having your kicking it too with them specifically. A best friend and a lover. Not just one or the other. You found the person that you can have your cake and eat it too with. Everything you do is connected. All of the love you give a person that you expect nothing from. It's returned back to you. All the love you show people who are platonic in your life comes back to you. I'm gonna put it on top of this to make sure you guys can see. Uh, we're gonna do that way. Just for now. I'm gonna get more area more uh, things to put on here so you can see it. You're very appreciative of everything. I see somebody that had to go through a lot of dark in their life. To be as bright as you are. 
because the only way you really learn and the only way you make an impact in this world is by being able to relate to other people, truly. You can have all the strength in the world, but if people don't relate to you, if they don't feel like you truly understand them, there's only so much you can learn and comfortability that can be given. There's a reason people love staying in your energy. And people talk to you just a little bit longer in the lines. Or tell you compliments walking past. It's a safety zone and people just kind of fill it with you and think about it after. They're like, why do I feel so comfortable with this person that I don't really even know? How did I feel like they saw me? Wow. You see also when you're just, manifestation is just continuously in a state of awareness that I cannot think about the things I don't want to happen. I don't want you to hold any fear in thinking that if you're split seconds going in, or even more than a split second, a couple minutes, whatever, going into a sense of paranoia or self-doubt, etc., it's not ever fucking up anything. When those moments happen, remember there's something that needs to be, be generated. It may not even be sleep. It could be a certain mindset. It can be the way you're looking at something. It could very well just be getting sleep in time away from people or time with people, etc. People see that no matter... This is energy about... Whatever you've done in this past... They want me to say three years of your life. You have risen above. You started out thinking that, am I going to be able to do these things alone? You, un you unpacked the whole past and put yourself out there for real growth, real rejuvenation. In the past three years, you have turned yourself into who exactly you have always been meant to be. You saw the only person getting in the way of your destiny was yourself. You can help people who feel like they can't help themselves because you once thought you were that. You are the person that has the straightforward answers. You are the person that understands the more I give, the more I can receive. You are the person that's financially secure because you understand you control money. Money does not control you. You are a master manifester and you understand spiritual alchemy without even having to know the terms, the words, how to do it. Spiritual alchemy starts without you realizing you're doing it. It's inner work. There's outer alchemy and then internal alchemy. And something I teach is internal alchemy. If you're interested actually in learning more about manifestation, spiritual inner alchemy, tarot, relationship coaching, inner child work, inner teenager work, divination in general, mediumship, you should check out my apprenticeship program. If you go to my website, which is if you click on my profile in the link, you'll see offprintmint.com. You click on that link, it's going to send you right to my website. On the top, you're going to see tabs. Click on the My Services tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and on the right-hand corner, you're going to see my Spiritual Alchemy apprenticeship program all the available details are there another thing i feel called to tell you about right now if you are interested in just learning tarot from me just tarot coaching not the other parts of my apprenticeship program i also have a what i call the patreon on my patreon the tier 7 tarot coaching level every single week i send out a video to my co to my students and my apprentices 
a coaching tarot video every single week. Once a month, we all meet up together for a group card cleansing, bonding, meditation time where you don't just interact with me, you interact with other people in your collectives. You're allowed to send your pictures of your spreads and ask me any questions you have regarding divination tools, no matter if you pick the apprenticeship or the tarot coaching. If you're interested in either website, apprenticeship program, Patreon, the Tier 7 Tarot Teachings. You see, my friend, you have nothing. Wow. You see, and these are two different tarots, and I just realized I picked the Queen of Swords in both of them. This deck, I consider the blue cards to be my feminine and the black cards to be my masculine and it helps me defer energy it's not about you and them these don't all represent one person and these another it's it's fluid fluid fluidity whatever between both of your energies do you see you showed yourself everything i was told i couldn't do i can your body has literally transformed as your mind became the most important, so you love yourself. You love yourself. And that is the most breathtaking, shoulder-dropping, heart-expanding feeling you can possibly ever have is self-love. It is the fundamental thing for everything else to follow. You have the ability... To show people you can't let your trauma, you can't let your fear stop you from taking that leap of faith. Once you depart from the fear that you're doing the wrong things, once you depart from the fear that you could fall back, that's when everything is able to present itself. When you are willing and you tell the universe, I accept this power and the responsibility that comes with it, I'm ready. Truly, you receive. The law of attraction is completely on your hands. Your spirit guides are extremely proud of you. I mean, they're always proud of you, but like... I don't even think you've realized the codes you've cracked and truly in this past week. You have not let pride stop you from loving. You have not let fear slow you down. You have been regenerating. There is a love connection tied to this energy. And there's somebody that... It looks like if you wouldn't have separated, this level of self-trust with cause-effect could not have happened. I see two people that were able to go inwards and focus on their own finances and prioritizing... And really have the ability to share this next portion of life together. Both of you will always take it day by day. But are ready for more. And the person that is attached to you within this reading. Feels the same exact way of everything I just expressed to you. I love this. Be so fucking proud of yourself. That's what I got for y'all today. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.